Hello, my name is Mel. Welcome to my world. And for those of you that are new to my channel, it's all about self-built camper vans and camper van related stuff. And today, I'm helping Rebecca on her Volkswagen Crafter. Now, for those of you that are regular viewers, you'll know that Rebecca used to have a wood stove here. But now the wood stove is gone, she would like a little dog house built for her little doggy Monty. <laughs> if you're familiar with Rebecca's channel, you would have seen Rebecca's little doggy Monty. It's a tiny little dog, so today I'm going to be making a little dog house. This is Monty's little dog house. I built this earlier when it was raining. And I didn't film myself building this because it's done nothing but rain all week. So most of this was constructed inside the van, which made it pretty impossible to film anything. But today, as luck would have it, the sun's come out. So I thought I'd give you a little update to show you what I've been up to. This is gonna be Monty's little dog house. Really simple to construct, it's just basically a square frame, 34 by 34, with a bit of dowling. There's my door, sides, it's going to have a nice lid on top as well, solid wooden lid, so we can use it as a little bench, somewhere for Rebecca to sit and have an evening meal. <laughs> so I've added this piece here, now I'm going to, this is our lid, this is going to go on here, I've made sure it's all nice and square, so I'm simply going to place that on top and to make this the right size get my special pencil make sure that's on there, this edge is nice and square this is nice and square, so if I mark it under there so I've simply used my pencil, marked it underneath so now if I flip this round flip it over that's where I've got a saw <laughs> along this line and there's my lid Now some people would be um, tempted to use a jigsaw to cut a straight line but with a jigsaw you never get a perfect straight line but with a simple handsaw, a proper handsaw with all its teeth you can pretty much get a perfect straight line that's why I like to use a handsaw and not a jigsaw and to prove that point because <laughs> I'm horrible <laughs> Take a look at this lovely straight edge. I hope you can see that. <laughs> it's really about the angle as well, the angle you cut the wood. Don't hold the saw like this and try and cut like this, because then it allows the saw to go like this. But if you cut it like this, then you're using the length of the saw blade as a straight edge. So you get that saw edge nice and straight that's how I do it you use this sort of angle more like this rather than like that does that make sense no <laughs> <laughs> okay let me move the camera and I'll show you what I mean <laughs> so from this angle it makes it a lot easier to explain so when you saw have the saw blade an angle like that because then you're using the whole length of the saw blade as a straight edge whereas if you have the saw blade like this and try and cut like that it's easier to turn that saw and make it a crooked edge but if you have it like this at this angle you get to use the whole length of the blade as a straight edge like this you see so you're using the saw blade as your straight edge that's why if you've got a bent saw throw it away if you bend your saw it's no good and that's how i get such a perfect straight edge there you go look at that perfect straight edge I think yep as opposed to quite a crooked edge 
<laughs> I'm going to leave it there before I get in trouble. Oh, look at that. Absolutely, perfectly straight. Yeah, we could use that as a wall. I guess. I'm glad your superior cutting skills are still growing. Oh, yeah. I like to amuse myself. Now I've got my lid made, I must say it fits perfectly. I'm going to use this hinge to attach it, but I'm not going to attach it just yet because Rebecca wants to stain this and varnish it with clear coat. So we're not going to fit this just yet. And put that to one side. And in the meantime, I'm going to make the back, and this back part is going to have hopefully a little lift up table on it so when we're outside the van we have a little lift up table under the awning and for that I'm going to use these bits of cladding these are going to be upcycled Rebecca Rebecca made this door I showed you earlier the crooked cut on it so I'm going to use these bits of cladding which is how thick of this cladding Pardon? how thick is this cladding I think it's Thick, I think it was 12mm. So we've got 12mm cladding. The cladding I used in my van is 7.5mm. It is substantially thicker. So here's a piece I marked earlier. To get this to fit right, I'm simply going to put it in place using my special pencil. There's always one. Mark it. Mark it where I'm going to cut it. Like that. Now, if I cut down this line, I know that this is going to fit in there absolutely perfect. That's what I'm doing next. We'll just do this one, and then I'll show you how it fits, and I'll do the rest. it fits I've got one shot at this because I've literally just got enough of this cladding to do this job if I mess it up I've messed it up so now that should fit perfectly because I get it around the right way in there and it does So this is going to go to the side. Back. To make sure I get it all nice and uniform, I'm going to do one bit at a time like this. I should actually fit this piece in place, but um, just to demonstrate how it's going to go. So once this is fitted in place, I then cut the next piece, and again, just mark it with my special pencil. And also I'm going to put a little cross there, and a little cross there, so I know that this piece of cladding goes against this piece. I'm going to put a little mark there as well. So I know that's the first piece. I'll know where that piece of cladding goes in relation to the next piece and we'll do that all the way up. Well I have to say I'm really pleased how this has turned out. I've put screws down the side into the cladding so I'll give it a bit of strength because Rebecca wants to put a table on here so that the table lifts up when the sliding doors open so she's got a table on the outside. So here's a little tip I want to share with you, and that's if you're spacing anything out like this, use an odd number. So simply by using seven, it was a matter of 
halving it, halving it, and then halving it. Then that way you've got a nice spaced out and evenly divided sections. Well, I think that turned out really well. And the same thing with the door. I used three dowels, one in the middle. So I halved the half of that distance, gave me that center line, then half again, gave me that. And that way you get nice, evenly divided rails in the door. So that's what it's gonna end up looking like. All I've got to do now is wait for Rebecca to stain the lid. And once the lid has been stained, that'll go on there and that'll hinge off. This box looks square, but in fact, it's not. It's not very square at all. If I put a set square on here, you can see there's a big gap there and it's touching down there. So how do I get such a primitive structure to be square? It's quite simple. If I turn it around this way, you can see this panel here, I've cut perfectly square, or as perfect as I can get it using my set square. But the frame, as you can see, it isn't quite square, but the screws holding the frame together, they're not done up very tight. So I fix it at the bottom here. To make this frame square, I simply screw the frame to fit this square panel. As you can see, if I push, you can see it comes square. It's as simple as that. As long as you get one panel that's square and you screw your frame to that panel, it squares up the rest of it. I shall demonstrate. So now I've put that screw there. This is now perfectly square. So all I've got to do is the same for this panel here. If I make a square panel and screw that, then this whole box structure will be perfectly square. And that is how I get everything square. <laughs> So there you go. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found this useful. Right, I want to carry on putting this together. So whilst Rebecca is painting the bits I built earlier, I thought I'd get on and paint the Unistrut ready for Rebecca's roof rack. Teamwork. Too low down. What do you mean too low down? Well, this is hitting this. So it needs to lift up a little bit. See, see you got that gap there? Which gap? There, the gap between the surface of this and the, the edge of that hinge. Yeah. That tiny little gap, you need exactly the same gap between the hinge and this. So that has got to come up. Okay. Do I need to put a little spacer then? Yeah, let me have a look. Let me put the gap. A bit up, off of here. Do move, I need that, to... move that away from the wall. It's an easy way and a hard way to do everything. Do it now. Yeah, lay that flat on there like that. And do them up. Ah. And that way you've got... This is the clearance. Okay. Yeah, I could totally understand you now. Is it level your end? Yep, yeah. it's dead flush. No, I love this, you, are, you, put, you can't try to get in the screen. Is that all the way in? Yeah. I'll do one each end. That's 
it. And there that end. Oh, okay. Put one in that end and then see if it will shut. Theoretically. It should. It should close. Oops. See, you've got that in so So now it should. Perfectly. Well done. Just a little bit. Oh, I made it deliberately with that lip there. That's great, yeah. yeah. So you can get your hands yeah. under. Back to there. Yeah, it was deliberate. Well, Rebecca's finally finished painting and varnishing. Look at that. I think they look absolutely fantastic. They look terrific. We've got a nice little chest here for all sorts of stuff probably dog related stuff and there's Monty's little dog house as well so now all we need to do is find out if Monty actually likes his new house I think he's around here somewhere he comes right now as if by magic and here's little Monty <laughs> with Rebecca <laughs> so does Monty like his little dog house I guess there's only one way to find out Fingers crossed. Look at this, baby. Can I see what this is? Oh. He likes it so much, he doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Call him then, see if he can come out. Come on then, Monty, come out. Come on then, wanna come? He's not sure. No. <laughs> he actually doesn't want to come out. <laughs> It's your little safe space, isn't it? Well, I think we, I think we can safely say that's a success. He likes it so much, he actually doesn't want to come out. Well, there you go. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. And why not subscribe to Monty's channel as well? Or should I say, Rebecca's? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, and turn off and out.